Hello, welcome to another episode of Fun with Drilling Engineering. Drilling of oil and gas wells is a very expensive activity, and that's why the operators, the oil companies, are always satisfied with the drilling speed. They are always worthy to go faster. If you were a do-it-yourself person at home, then you know that to drill faster, you either turn the drill faster or you press the drill harder against the wall. Today we will focus on how we can drill faster by increasing drill string rotation. In a deep borehole, this is not easy because if you rotate the very long thin drill string too fast, it will start to swing and vibrate too much. Of course, this is not favorable for us. So we have to think of other ways to achieve a quick rotation of the drill bit. If we can't rotate the drill string quicker from the top, then we have to do it from the bottom. This is why we have something in the string called the mod motor. And this device is located directly above the drill bit. This motor, in a simple sense, works like a supermarket revolving door. The revolving door rotates faster if more people pass through it. With the downhole motor, this is similar. We pump drilling mud from above, and the more the drilling fluid that passes through, the faster the bit turns. In the downhole motor, we have a rotor and a stator. The rotor sits in the stator. The stator and the rotor are shaped in such a way that they can form small chambers which are sealed against each other. So as the drilling mob is pressed through the motor, the rotor is forced to rotate just like the supermarket revolving door. The great thing about a downhole motor is that you don't just have a rotor and a stator with this shape here. But you can actually use different combinations, different designs of stator and rotor to achieve characteristics. For example, depending on the shape of the stator and the rotor, you can build high speed motors with low torque or slow speed motors with high torque or anything in between. Everything is possible. Therefore, you can select the motor to meet the exact requirements for a specific drill bit. For example, roller cone beats like slower rotational speeds, while the PDC beats will require higher torque because they shear away the rock, while the impregnated beats, which sand the rock away, require much higher speeds to make hole. So there is optimum downhole motor for each drill bit. These motors are surprisingly very strong and can reach many hundreds of horsepower, in some cases 850 horsepower, like this racing car behind me here. Yeah, that whole motors have become standard tools we use today in the drilling string. They help us to reduce drilling costs by helping by increasing the rate of penetration. If you want to know more exactly how this works, then come to our lecture, Basics of Drilling Engineering, here in Freiburg. We look forward to see you. Look off.